For updates on sports stories across the globe, Aaron Akiri Jola joins us. Good morning, Aaron. Yeah, good morning to you, Ayo. Good morning to you, Doctor. Good morning to you. Morning, 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 yeah. uh, let's start it off with the biggest story actually making the rounds of the world of sports today. A quick update. Uh, we're still keeping an eye on the Times Square in New York as one man, Tunde Onokoya, all right, he's on the, on the verge of breaking the record, massive record, and we're actually rooting heavily for him, I must actually say. And let's talk about the fact that um, quite a number of stars, Davido, um, Showere, Adekule Gold, and a number of people have actually shown up to support Onokoya there. And more importantly, Nigerians in our usual hospitable nature have even brought food for him. All right, to probably energize him and not just energize him alone, also push him to his goal. And everyone seems to be behind this man, I must actually say kudos to him. And at the moment, if they can actually help us with the strap there, 32, over 32 hours has gone down as the moment. And more importantly, less than 20, about 26 hours to go. And at the moment, he's actually gone against a hundred opponents at the moment. Um, so when you look at it, this man is on the verge of doing something great and we're wishing him all the best. And more importantly, um, we know he will do it. Let's, okay, turn our attention to the president of Nigeria, Pres um, President Bola Metinobu, who has also sent his own message to him. He tweeted a message um, supporting him, backing him, and he's saying, go get it, go get it. And we know that he can do it and he will do it. Uh, we are at Arise also supporting this particular venture. Well, what record breakers, what record breakers, yeah. when you look at it everywhere, you, um, every time you turn around, you just see Nigerians trying to do great things. Now, away from that, um, let's turn our attention to Liverpool, who had a night to forget yesterday in Europe. And the final, uh, the final huddle in Europe for Jurgen Klopp, and people are beginning to question um, his European pedigree, so to speak, um, because this particular uh, farewell tour, as some are calling it, when you actually look at it, in 89 games played, um, so far so good, he's been able to only win 54 of those 89 games. He's gotten to four, I mean, he's gotten to four finals and has only won one of those four finals. Although some will say, the Super Cup is part of it, but that is not a final in itself. And 89 games played, 54 wins, 14 draws, 21 losses, and one major title, one minor title, uh, because he lost quite a number of them to Liverpool, I mean to Real Madrid in the year for Champions League. And right now, again, an opportunity for him to probably um, bid farewell to the Reds and the Liverpool fans went biting in the dust yesterday. So let's talk about the Europa League in full as, as, as Atalanta in Bergamo yesterday uh, held their nerves, held their composure to actually beat Liverpool. They lost on the night, but on the aggregate, they actually won three goals to one. And there were celebrations in Bergamo because that particular city, which our boy there, Ademola Lukman, and the rest of the gang had done themselves proud. And they can say that they will be playing in the semifinals of the Europa League. At the moment, all English teams are out of the Champions League and the Europa League. Ayers Roma beating AC Milan yesterday, two goals to one. Uh, Western United drawing with Bayer Leverkusen. Bayer Leverkusen at this moment are just indefatigable. Looking at it closely, they have come from winning positions time and time again. And I must say kudos to them. Western United thought they would have at least gotten a win on the night, but late, 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 late from them. Prime Pong has been doing so well for them. And Olympic Marseille, uh, with, the likes, uh, with the likes of Aubameyang actually engineering that particular win against Benfica on the day. So you look at that, English teams are actually out and so be it. But before I actually come to you guys, uh, one man, uh, his name is Rabi Ali, he plays for Canopilas. He's 43 years of age, one of the oldest footballers I know, like still playing actively. And he says the reason he's still active at this age is that he has stayed clear of womanizing and alcohol. And that's the reason why he is where he is. And he's he fit. Said, Very fit. Yes, at 43. Yeah. Very fit. Encounter. 
Wow. Counted. Very fit. So he's yeah. actually charging say, the young guys. Say say <laughs> abstinence, Abi. <laughs> abstinence, Abi. And, and the other one, Ako. Abstinence. Yeah. But underline abstinence. Eh? Let me move to Tunio <laughs> Nokoya. Eh, I'm very happy about Tunio Nokoya. I yeah. know. You know, I'm even sure the reason why, you know, Tunio Nokoya has been able to break that record up to that is abstinence. You know, it's been able to abstain from all sorts of things. But... You know, in all seriousness, I think Tunio Nokoya will do us proud. And I've been rooting it for me from day one because when you look at it, Tunio is not doing it for self gratification, he's doing it for a noble cause. Yes, it that is. That one million dollars, do you know how much he's turning the lives of children around under the bridge of Nushudi? Giving them opportunities with chairs and turning their lives around. And I'm really happy David Doe was there with him. Shoray you know, was so, also there. And Shoray was also there. You, you see, it's the beginning of the end for Klopp. Sometimes you'll never get it right, but you can't ever deny what Klopp has. So if this last season, he doesn't even win anything in the end, it doesn't deny the fact that Klopp has been a formidable coach in Liverpool and definitely his but the future trophies, will be, will But the trophies do not match the hype. That's, that's always been my, my uh, point. The see, trophies see, do not see, match the see, hype. Some people will be lucky with trophies. Some people will be lucky with trophies. It's just like Roberto Di Matteo. Till today, Roberto Di Matteo is the Champions League winner. Yeah. But does it really deserve it? No. True. So that's how it is sometimes. But you can never change the fact that the mentality, the philosophy. Mm. Go and check the likes of, um, you know, the, the man that said football is more than life and that, um, what's his name, Nabil Shankly. Yeah. It's not that he won a lot of European trophies like that. But the mentality and the philosophy Bill Shankly gave that Liverpool team is something Liverpool can never forget. True. Yeah. Oh. Is how you have it in entertainment where you say that awards are not a true measure of yeah. talent or skill. So, in that vein, I mean, what people have said is that perhaps his leaving or the prospect of him leaving is putting a lot of stress on the team. And so, just that thought that they'd be losing a worthy coach is affecting their morale. Football is not just physical, it's a very mental game. Yes, it is. Now, talking very about mental, mental games, um, chess as well is mental. Extremely. And, um, you know, it takes a lot of mental strength. And I want, I want to say something. When I look at the fact that he's playing in an environment that is not his natural habitat, in terms of the cold of New York, it is even more applause worthy in terms of... And also the no distractions point. now. Yes, because the distractions. I'm not saying like mental. Draw. And people are like, is the noise too much? But I feel like it gingers and people are bringing jollof fries to him and just showing their support to him. We are rooting for him. Mm. The whole of Nigeria, we are proud of Tunde Onokoya and we cannot wait for him to cross that 58 hour, mm. hour mark. Well, about Tunde Onokoya, I think the important thing is the Nigerian spirit. They can do forever foraging spirit of the average Nigerian. Whether it is uh, in cooking, trying to be the best in the world, or in a singing marathon. And now we have this example again of the Nigerian spirit. And therefore, it is instructive that from uh, President Tebola Tunubu, who put on his Twitter page, checkmate the world, Tundio Nokoya, to former Vice President, you know, um, Yemi Osimbajo. Uh, Professor Yemi Oshimbajo, mm -hmm. uh, to the uh, Governor of Lagos State, and even the current Vice President. Uh, uh, Kashim Shetima. Uh, uh, Senator Kashim Shetima. Mm -hmm. All of them coming out and saying, look, you know, you represent the spirit of excellence True. that embodies the Nigerian spirit. I think that that's something uh, to underline because for forever, you always find Nigerians trying to excel. Now, the uh, longest chess marathon record was uh, set in uh, 2018, yeah. right? Yeah. So many years later, you find a Nigerian say, okay, we'll go beyond the 56 uh, minutes, nine, 56, uh, 56 hours, hours, nine hours, 37 seconds, the record that was set in uh, 2018, and it will do 58 hours. And it has done, as you pointed out, more than 32 hours. But also look at the solidarity shown by Nigerians. Nobody is talking about ethnicity. Nobody is talking about where Tunde Onokoya comes from, that Nigerian spirit. So. It's something we can isolate as the fact that, look, we can be Nigerian yes. when we want to be. That's that about that. Second thing is that the uh, UEFA, you know, appeals body has fined the uh, Barcelona. You know, Barcelona fans on Tuesday misbehaved, you know, during the Champions League quarterfinals mm -hmm. uh, against uh, PSG. Yeah. Now, Barcelona has been fined about 25,000 euros. They've also been told that they cannot sell tickets in their next, you know, away match uh, in the champions uh, in any European competition, but that has been suspended 
for a year. As for Liverpool, well, Jürgen Klopp himself uh, made it clear that uh, he's already running out of energy. <laughs> you know, maybe that spirit, you know, diminished, you know, enthusiasm may have rubbed off on his team. Uh, they've been losing, uh, you know, they lost, uh, they won the Carabao Cup. Yeah. You know, they, um, they uh, exited the FA Cup. You know, uh, they still have a chance in the Premier League, but in the Premier League, they went from first position to the third uh, position, and they will be meeting uh, Fulham yeah, this, this weekend. weekend. Yeah. So when they meet uh, Fulham this weekend, we'll see uh, how that plays out. You said all the English teams are out. Aston oh. Villa. So, of, so Aston of Villa. Champions League and the Europa League. Okay, Aston yeah. Villa is still in the Europa Conference, Conference League. Yes. It may be a third-tier tournament, but at least... England is still represented in Europe. No, the unfortunate thing for the, the so, semi-finals. No, so now the reason why I stated that that yeah. Champions League and Europa League because because of the coefficients and the fact that England were ben, were meant to benefit an extra slot okay, from we'll their qualifying. Okay, we discussed that yesterday. They lose that. That's actually got up in flames. Unfortunately okay. for Thank them. Thank you very much. Got up in uh, flames. Yeah, all right.